All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have myself here a Rico Graftonite tenor saxophone C7 mouthpiece. Now, the C actually has to do with the chamber size, and the 7 has to do with the tip opening or what they actually call the facing on this mouthpiece. Let's flip this thing over on the back, and it actually has different facing choices. And unlike a lot of these other mouthpieces, in this price range, which I paid around $30 for, you actually have the A, B, C, or the large, medium, and small. I decided to get the small C7. All right, let's open this thing up and see what we got. Fastest unboxing ever. And as you would expect, the mouthpiece is just in a box like that. No ligature. Aye! So here you can see we have this raised table. We have relatively thick rails here, the side rails. There's a scratch, a little defect alert there on the rail. We have our typical Rico forehead here. We have flat side walls. We have a duckbill chamber. We got this rounded chin area. Let me see if I can show you the inside chin. We can see how that's thick. And walled it looks like it angles back very thin tooth there on the front let's get a look at this facing curve I think that's the injection mold point right there that little nub on the end way up at the top okay All right, this mouthpiece is actually really fantastic. And I don't really know of any other mouthpiece brand that's making a mouthpiece in this price range with nine different variations of itself. So you have your A, B, and C, then you have your three, five, and seven for every letter. So that gives you nine configurations. Now, it's more resistant than what I thought it was. I went to the website to try and find out more specific information, but I don't know, maybe it was my computer or whatever, but something just wasn't loading right. I switched to the C7 and they kept saying large chamber for some reason. So 
this is more resistant, like I said, than what I thought. So my wheelhouse might actually be closer to a C5. But other than that, I really like the sound of this mouthpiece. I'll do in a later video, a comparison of this with some of the other $30 mouthpieces, along with the other Rico Metalite or Metalite mouthpieces. Okay, although I like and appreciate this mouthpiece on tenor, I still think I like the Giardinelli mouthpiece better, but it only comes in one configuration. I love this mouthpiece on soprano, but I had some issues with it fitting properly on my soprano, and I also have this mouthpiece on Barry Sax also, which I really prefer to Metalite on Barry because that thing just rips. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> searching the website and various other websites trying to find out what the actual tip opening of this mouthpiece is from a really reliable source and I couldn't really find one save for one so I figured you know what these look like they're actually kind of right so I went and busted out this thing which is really hard to use so I'm not gonna show you on video me fumbling around trying to use this thing but after a lot of attempts it kept it kept zeroing in on around a buck oh five so this is like a seven star 105 tip opening and also i got myself one of these to just measure the actual length of the mouthpiece which is just over four inches or about 105 millimeters okay so coming up soon i'm going to do some kind of rico mouthpiece mashup keep in mind i only have one of the graph tonight in tenor but in total i have eight <laughs> Rico mouthpieces, including Daddario, because Daddario is the parent company. I've essentially furnished my house with Rico mouthpieces. So that's coming. But again, I'm trying to plug this video that I have coming up, which is saxophone sound. How to develop your sound and your tone. It's going to be huge. I'm telling everybody this. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you. Stay tuned. See ya!